G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Today I just want to show you a funky little feature with a thermal imager and how handy they are if you've got one in the workshop. So I just want to show you how quickly it helped us find this no code misfire. So let me fire it up and I'll show you how we found it. So as you can see guys, we've got the um, exhaust manifold available to us here and um, I'm just going to look at the front three so you see we see that they're all or you can see the first four and you anyway all lit up very very hot and if we just go over to the back three it's, it's actually showing a little bit brighter than on the camera than it is but um, that number five where my pointer is in the middle is actually really uh, cold or well, not hot at all so we know that the combustion is making the heat and there's not enough heat there if there's no heat there we know that that's our misfiring cylinder so it's sort of coming to life a bit but it's not so and i'll show you what we found it's pretty noisy under here but hopefully you can see that we've got our spark tester on it we've got good spark so what you find, I've got my test light connected to the ground, so if we run this up and down the actual spark plug boot, we're going to see if we have a leaking boot that's causing our misfire. And so we ran it up the side, and I'll just show you, hopefully you can see this. So you can see, hopefully you can see that, our spark disappears, and the spark jumps to my test light. So clearly we've got a leaking spark plug boot, that's what's causing our issue. So, quick test, just put some electrical tape on it, put it back down, let's see if it stops misfiring. So our misfire is now gone, and as you can see, our exhaust at the back is absolutely red hot. So we know that our, we, we can see that it's not misfiring any longer. So we know what we're going to get uh, for this vehicle. Um, more than likely the spark plugs are worn and put extra stress on the, the lead. So, Anyway, we'll get this repaired, but I just wanted to show you how handy it is to have this tool. And what I'll do is I'll show you a couple of other slides of um, where we've used it before on a, on a cooling system, for example, and just show you how handy it is. So let me just put those up and let's have a look. So we're just in the Fluid Tools app on my phone, which is um, connected to my uh, thermal imager, and we can just Bluetooth directly to the phone after we get a capture, so we can show the customers or add it to the job card. Uh, as you can see, this is a radiator off a Toyota Land Cruiser that was having some cooling system issues, and this is one of the faults, a bit of a cold spot in the middle of the radiator there. And let's, uh, let's see what the next one is. So this is a, um, a blocked radiator on a Nissan Pulsar. As you can see, the top line of the radiator there and further down we've got you know, a lot of cold spots in the radiator. That's another angle of it. And another angle of it there. Uh, this is that same Nissan Pulsar with a blocked heater core. As you can see, we've got a red hot hose on one side going in and we've got dead cold on the other side this is a VZ Commodore and um, basically it was overheating on and off and we never got it to fail and it came in one day and as you can see the top of the radiator is dead cold uh, that's the front of the radiator fan side dead cold and then we go to the top hose and as you can see the top of the hose is hot and might be a little bit misleading but as you can see below um, it's starting to get a bit cool but what you're actually seeing is the radiant heat of the engine that's heating up that top hose so this thing had a blocked thermostat so that's what the fault was so there's just a couple of examples of where else you can use a thermal imager and they're really handy to have and some of them are really well priced so yep back to the video so there you go guys, hopefully that makes sense. It's a really great tool to have, you know, what we were saying before for those parasitic drains, the, um, the flow restrictions in cooling systems, misfires, there's a whole heap of, you know, things we can look for, you know, restricted exhausts. So, you know, if you don't have one, uh, definitely, you know, take a look at getting one. There's a whole uh, range of different types of brands that are available to get you, you know, entry into this, you know, this sort of tool. 
and uh, yeah, hopefully it helps you reduce your diagnosis time going forwards. So as always guys, thanks for watching. If you're not part of TAP, jump on www.tap.net.au and join up for all the benefits. Thank you.